Hello there, welcome back to Legends on the Series X. I am Durka. Today, we are going to start a meme series, possibly, where I take meme ship build ideas from you guys and test it out. Looking for a good game to kind of showcase the ship and see if it's viable or if it's just meme -y. So here we are in the Shimakaze. After last week, someone left a comment saying that Sano on Shima could be interesting to make a Screamer torpedo build. Screamer torpedoes are kind of a slang for ultra high speed short range torps, so I proceeded to test it out and this was the third game I played. How did it go? Well, stick around and find out. Shimakaze is the boat you get in when you're having a bad day and you want to ruin someone else's day. Or maybe you need to make a dev strike compilation. Or perhaps you're just a sick, sick person. <laughs> She's known for her walls of skill with 15 Lancer torpedoes that do around, I don't know, 20,000 damage apiece. It's a ridiculously good boat, and it's not that hard to do well in. If you understand the basics of destroyer play, that is. Usually there really is only one way to spec a Japanese torpedo boat, and that's right, you guessed it, for torpedoes. But the thought of putting Screamer torpedoes on Shimashima was just too intriguing. Before we talk about the setup though, let's take a look at our commander. Like I mentioned, we are using Sano, one of the newest Halloween commanders that you can earn right now for playing the unique game mode or for 5,000 doubloons. And the sole intent of using him was for his special perk in slot 3 called Sprint Master. Inspirations on this build are all torpedo focused with Eric Bay and Albert Gleaves. With this build, you are pretty much stuck with this kind of style of inspirations and here's why. By using the Cheetah perk, you get a torpedo range penalty that is actually pretty savage. At level 12, the nerf is 22% of your torpedo range. Also, F's in the chat for the Shimano here. Anyways, nerfed torpedo range. It brings it down to 6.5 kilometers. So you can see where issues might start to arise, especially at legendary tier. Enter Eric Bay for concealment and Albert Gleaves to pump out a little extra range. At a level 11, he brings it up. Um, about three tenths of a kilometer. So 6.5 kilometers was the best I have right now. So before we talk about how stupid fast the torpedoes are and can be, let me talk about this game for a second that turns out to be a barn burner with a couple dev strikes. We just saw one and we finished the match with about 100 health. Also, we might have found a bug in this game. Let me know if you guys can spot it. So the torpedoes on this setup reload around 95 seconds. They travel 84 knots in the water and go 6.5 kilometers. They still hit for 21,000 damage. Um, so if you do all these calculations, figure landing every torpedo, you could be doing 315K every 95 seconds or minute and a half. It's pretty scary damage output. Now the other scary thing about this setup is how fast the torpedoes are going. It makes them more difficult to dodge. That is one of the big downfalls of Shimakaze. Her torpedoes are gigantic and they're easy to spot. Stock. They would be about 1.8 kilometers. So to compare that, gearings, they're about 1.4 kilometers. American torpedoes are usually always more stealthy. So an interesting thing to look at with this is the reaction time. We calculate this by the torpedo speed and visibility to see how much time an enemy captain has to react. In this setup, an enemy captain has 8.25 seconds to react. With the Type 93 torpedoes, the longer range, slower ones that hit harder, it's about 8.7 seconds. So using Sano to buff the speed, it's a half a second, a half a second less that an enemy captain has to react definitely makes a difference. Now, another wonderful side effect of this little buff from using Sano is the speed and incoming fire dispersion. The way I had it set up here, Shima runs around 41 knots without a speed booster. So you turn on the speed booster and you can get up to closer to 45 knots. It's pretty good for running around the map, closing the distance, 
And of course, with Bay, our concealment is pretty good at, I believe it was 5 point... 5.2 kilometers and on that note i would say the nerf to destroy your concealment earlier this year probably wasn't enough anyways keep all of that in mind and know that to play the shimikaze with screamer torps it definitely takes a big set because you're going to be getting up close and very personal the bad things about this ship you know, going straight for a torpedo-centric build like this makes the guns not that great at all. I guess the plan with Shimikaze is not to be gunfighting, but by taking Subsurface Venture, we get a 10% nerf to reload time, and by taking Destroy or Be Destroyed, we get negative 5% on our shell grouping. So it makes it a lot harder to gun things down. Not that you're really doing that in a torpedo boat anyways, but it just makes you a little less well-rounded, I suppose we could say. So what this build shines at, and I will show you here later in this game, is getting into a good defensive position and letting ships sail into you. So by playing caps and objectives, kind of like we're doing here, you can force enemy ships to come towards you, which helps with your short range. Overall, I would say this is a pretty fun build. I also tested it out on some of the other Japanese destroyers, such as Yudachi, Akatsuki, Fubuki, and Kamikaze. Yukikaze would be the same as Yudachi, I believe. I don't actually have that boat. So let's start at the lower tier ship first. On the Kamikaze, it brought the range down too much to really be viable in my opinion. It made it pretty hard to play, even at tier 4 where most of the ships are piloted by potatoes. Actual potatoes. Now the Fubuki and the Akatsuki, it did very very well. The setup with Sano was pretty good because both of these torpedo boats start with very long range torpedoes at the respective tier, about 10 kilometers for both Ubuki and Akatsuki. And I've never really thought that that was super useful. I like to be in a little closer to the action, especially when your concealment is so darn low. But using Sprint Master on these, you can raise the torpedo speed up to closer to 70 knots on both boats and still retain 8 kilometer torpedoes. You don't even have to use Gleaves, you could use another inspiration, a double concealment or blue for increased speed, anything you would want. It would be nice not to have to use Gleaves. And again, like we talked about, having the, the speedier torpedoes, it's going to cut down your enemy reaction time and make it easier for you to get a lot more torpedo hits. Another thing you could consider if you have paid for the Azerlane Commander Atago. You could use her to make the torpedoes a little more stealthy. Shimakaze definitely could use that. You would probably just have to give up Eric Bay. Or Gleaves if you're really, really bold, but that three tenths of a kilometer helps quite a bit. As you can see in this gameplay, the margins get pretty close. Pretty darn close for comfort. Um, hanging out within just, you know, six kilometers of a turpitz with a hundred health, and they get a lot closer, actually. If you couldn't tell, I did skip ahead a little bit as most of that the video there at the end or the middle portion was just uh, finally trying to force these battleships to come sail towards me. Like I mentioned at the beginning, Screamer Shima doesn't play no games. You're going to have to play dirty and quite a bit more aggressively than normal Shima. Normal Shima, you are usually looking through a telescope to launch your torpedoes, but Screamer Shima, you can see the color of the shirt the guy has on in the bridge. Personally, I think it makes this boat pretty darn fun. Shima is stupid good to begin with, and uh, this makes the ship a lot more challenging to play. But hey, isn't that the point of meme builds? Meme boats are not supposed to be the meta, they are to entertain us and hopefully make for some cool YouTube content. Sano though, definitely I think he has real applications for Fubuki and Akatsuki and the Tech Tree Destroyers. I think it's perfect that they brought him into the game because he kind of gives those Tech Tree boats a little more options like Yudachi, Shimakaze, and Yukakaze, the premium ships with their super fast torpedo options. The inspiration of speed and incoming fire dispersion for Sano, they're okay. 2% is not really a lot, and keep in mind that 2% is fully maxed. That's a 16-4 Sano, and good luck getting that. 
for the entire time that I have played this game. I think I've talked about it in a Stalingrad video. Some, it's probably 72 days of gameplay now put into my 3600 or 3700 battles. I still do not have a single 16-4 commander just because it, it takes so much. So in this game, I think it's an understatement to say that I'm lucky to be alive. Um, earlier in the engagement against the Udachi, I'm pretty sure I took four torpedoes. Now, I do plan on clipping that and clipping what else just happened in the game as the Turpets hit me with the torpedo, and I'm going to send it to the devs. Maybe I'm... I, I, I don't know if it's a glitch working as intended, or if the Shimakaze was just totally damage saturated in the front of the boat, and that's why I'm surviving the torpedoes. I don't know, but I do plan on sending it to the devs and maybe we can get to the bottom of it and kind of figure out why. I don't think in a destroyer play I've ever, you know, taken additional torpedoes like that and survived. That's a first for me. If I counted correctly, that, sh that was probably five torpedoes that I got hit by in Shimakaze here. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section down below. If it is just damage saturation, I don't know how I feel about that. Now, with that dev strike, that essentially wraps it up for us. This one, our teammates finally corner and kill the red enemy battleship down there in the far south. So that's going to wrap it up for this very meme video. I enjoyed making it, and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Holler at me if you have some cool meme ship ideas, and I will consider making some content on it in the future. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on to catch future stuff. All right. See ya.